Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Timberland shoe haul. Um, I'm going to do a haul because I basically have a lot of pairs, I feel like, and I just basically want to get into the nitty gritty of what to expect from Timberland boots, how to clean them, and how to care for them, and just basic little things that you guys might not know about them. So, I'm basically going to get into my latest pair, and then I will get into my oldest pair afterwards. So, <clears throat> let me just push these ones off to the side. So basically this is my latest pair. Um, I got these from Champ Sports. A friend actually picked them up for me. They were the last pair and I was kind of anxious to get them and I loafed it on getting them. But, you know, they're here with me. So, um, these are the all pink uh, Numbuck suede. <clears throat> these are actually um, big kid sizes, which can be equivalent to um, adult sizes depending on what size you wear. I think it doesn't go past, um, like let's say if you wear a woman's size 10, then you wouldn't be able to find your size in a big kid's. But anything under that, you can f um, basically get your shoe in a, a kid size. So this is what they look like. And the underneath of it, tag, so forth. So I actually really wanted to get a pair of um, pink Tims because back in the day I used to have like blue lugs and lugs at the time used to have like a whole bunch of, they used to have different colors basically as opposed to like Timberland. Timberland only had like their basic colors that they were known for like black and the wee color and like a dark brown and so forth. So like, cause I used to go to the Timberland store. Um, so, like, back in, I think it was, like, 2005 or so, like, yeah, back in 2005, they had, um, the blue lugs, and they had, like, the pink, and I think they even had red, and I really wanted to get pink as well, but I ended up getting with blue, because I'm, like, blue would go more with, um, more clothing, right, as opposed to, like, the pink, because at the time, I wasn't really wearing too much pink, pink outfits and stuff, it was more of, like, you know, tomboyish, so I would end up with more blue clothing, if anything, denim and so forth. So I had like baby blue Tim, I mean sorry, baby blue uh, lugs, and yeah, and then I wanted the pink ones, but I never ended up getting them. So now, they, I mean like Timberland has different colors, so you know, I ended up with these pink ones. Um, I haven't yet to wear them, that's the only thing. I do plan on wearing them now f through March and April. Um, the best thing I could say to protect like shoes like these is to spray them with the protective spray and to also basically clean off like any scuff marks and so forth. Usually like as most people probably use this either a toothbrush or I use like a small scrubby brush just to like get off um, certain dirt. You can also buy um, a Timberland scrub. It's like a brush and it has like a polish. Uh, like a, it's like a little rock and then you basically like rub it and then you just clean off any marks or dirt. So yeah, I mean, these can go with an all black outfit, pink outfit, white, so forth. You can like style them up, even with like, you can match them with different colors if you wanted to. You could do it with like a um, dark blue, and then put some like pastel in there and so forth or whatever. Like, it's just all about up to you, how to like, how you want to risk your style or how you want to put color into it or whatever. You don't have to stick to all black just to like wear a pink shoe. So. Yeah, these are, like, this is my favorite color. I think they look dope. I actually can't wait to wear them. I might wear them tonight, but depending on what I'm going to wear. <laughs> um, next up is... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these are my all-black beaters, I would say. Um, these Timberlands are made for scuffing, basically. Like, they're scuff-proof, so if you were to hit them or, like, get any marks on them, whatever, these are the boots that you want because it's just like it's basically it's just to get dirty if anything so there's no dirt on them as of now really to tell you the truth because I actually cleaned them because they were they were a hot mess like they they look like they've been through hell and back my mom asked me she's like when are you cleaning those and I was like okay like you know it's bad when your mom's telling you to clean them so <laughs> um so yeah I've had these for two years now 
Um, I wore them all of last year, not so much this year, only because like this winter wasn't as bad. I didn't really need them because I had other boots and then I have running shoes that are like, um, good for like getting wet and water and stuff and it, like your feet don't soak. So I basically just stuck to those because I kept my feet warm and I just feel like the only thing about boots and like Timberlands and stuff, they're kind of heavy. I do, I do a lot of movement, I walk really fast, like carrying these is like carrying like like two pounds, like little puppies on your feet or something, and sometimes I don't have time to be carrying little puppies on my feet, <laughs> um, so I didn't really wear them, but this is how they look, um, they're not the same as the all black ones, they kind of look like it, but they don't, if you can see like they have this like shiny kind of thing to it, and you can see like I can scratch them and that's basically it and you can like easily clean them off and stuff but they do get dirty easily and you can see all the dirt marks on them so this is why these are my beaters um, the only downside I would say about these boots is the laces are short and I forgot to actually change them and they're kind of tight on the side like around the ankle and stuff so these ones do actually I do have to stretch them out and if you're ever like wondering how to stretch them you should you can either put like um now some people like can put their shoes in their freezer if you like basically just I would put them in a box and then if you have a deep freezer put ice in it and then you can just like a bag of water and let it freeze and then it'll like basically stretch out the sides but if you don't want to do that, then you just basically, you have to really press on the ankle side or whatever. Because a lot of times, like, shoes will squeeze up your feet for no reason and then give you, like, cuts and stuff. And I don't like that either. <clears throat> My next boots are the most asked about, if anything. People always, always ask me about my white Timberland boots. Where did I get them? Where did they come from? Um, they were actually sent to me from the UK. Um, a seller actually, she had them and she, I think they didn't fit her or something along those lines. And she just basically um, was selling them. And I ended up getting it. Um, she sent them with a pair of their inside. Send them with like Timberland socks, which is cute. Um, <laughs> like these socks are actually really warm. I I just tried them on, but like they're warm. Um, these boots, I mean, like you can just look at them and be like, yo, those are nice. Um, my main thing about these is like they can go with anything. Obviously, they're all white. I would wear these with like an all white outfit. Um, black. I mean, it doesn't even matter. You can throw them on with like colored outfit. You can wear like, let's say, pink. You can wear like a pink top, blue jeans, and throw on white tims and like bam, like that's your outfit or whatever. Whatever you like, you want to wear. And this is how they look. So it's white at the bottom. As you can see, I really haven't worn them. To tell you the truth. Um, when I got these, I was probably the most ecstatic to get these. Like. Because, I mean, they were really hard to get. It was just one thing. Like, and, like, a lot of people were looking for white Tims at the time. Like, I don't know how it is now, but it was just one of those things. So I had to get them. Um, I will probably break these out this time around, too. Um, I don't wear Timberlands in the summertime only because, I mean, they're hot. I mean, some people wear just Tims all year round. Shout out to my New Yorkers. Um, <laughs> I'm just playing. But, um... Yeah, these shoes are pretty comfortable as opposed to like these black ones that are over here or whatever. I didn't have any problem wearing these the first time I wore them. The laces and everything are perfectly fine. Um, these ones are easier to probably clean a bit, but at the same time, not that easy. Because if it does scuff, then obviously the all white's going to show. So it's just more so about being careful about how you step, making sure that like, you know, let's say walking into... I don't know, anything that can peel off the leather. Because once the leather's peeled off in the white, like, that's it. Like, so it's just more so maintaining on, are you walking, like, are you going somewhere that's going to mess them up? Or are you going somewhere that you can, like, keep them clean? So that's the only thing about wearing the all-white one. So, I mean, 
yeah, I mean, I would get them again. I would, like, if I could have found the second pair, I would have bought two. Tell you the truth. Just, like, one to wear, and then one to, like, if these ones get messed up, then I have another one. That's just my ideal, because I'm a shoe junkie, so. So, yeah. <clears throat> my last and final pair are my long Timberland boots. Um, believe it or not, well, I mean, it's obvious to believe. I've had these shoes for over eight years. Yeah, so they're pretty old. Um, the only downside I would say about these is I took really good care of them, and I didn't wear them a lot. Like, I got these back in high school, and I didn't wear them often, like, all the time or whatever. But I kept them in the box, and I kept them clean. I made sure to, like, use, like, the Timberland brush that they suggested and everything. I used to spray them they faded inside the box like time like after a certain time i don't know if it was like maybe like a year and a half after they started fading like crazy so like that's the only downside about the wheat color and i that's why i refuse to kind of buy the wheat because the tan color fades like crazy like it's just I, it's just one of those things over time like even if you have like any kind of wheat root it'll start to fade like the color and depending on how you care for it but I used to care for these like crazy and I didn't wear them often either. So just imagine them sitting in the box and they're like the colors just fading. Like no sun, no sunlight even got to it. Like it's crazy how they started fading. So I mean you can tell I've had them for a while. Like there's scuffs here, like hair started peeling. Um, here's still light. Um, but these boots are basically, they were really good for when, like they're good for winter time. There was one winter we had like snow in Toronto like up to your thigh basically like it was it was that bad so these got me through those winters and I mean they don't look as bad I guess I mean I've seen worse but I mean these are just beaters as well eventually I mean th like the new um the new ones that they have that come up to your knee they have like a zipper here and they're not as wide as this and I was kind of looking for like the same feature that they used to have but they don't have it like this anymore but other than that these boots are good like they keep my feet warm I mean over time they have um, like your toes start to get cold I don't know what it is like something around um, the toe area your toes will start to freeze if it's like like minus let's say minus 20 or something outside like you can just feel everything in your toes when it comes to the Timberlands but I mean the boots have lasted this long and I mean I can't say they look they're not horrible but I mean they're beaters like I said so yeah I mean I've had these for I'll just say over eight years <laughs> so yeah these these are pretty old but they do hold up but like I would say to clean for the wheat ones um, I would definitely spray them every so often at least if you have wheat spray them like at least I would say if especially if it's winter outside spray them almost like every day if you can if not then try to spray them spray them two two three times a week at least the spray goes a long way a lot of people think like oh no I'm not gonna spray my boots or whatever trust me when I spray my like running shoes and boots like dirt comes off super easy they're easy to clean like you could throw water on it and like especially when it has like waterproof repellent like it just slides right off like it's like nothing so it's just a matter of keeping keeping them clean and like maintaining them so yeah like for the white ones like I said you're gonna need more maintenance obviously um, for me I also do spray the bottom of my shoe so some people don't, they'll just like spray the rim and stuff. I spray the bottom just to keep the bottom clean as well because, I mean, for the white ones, like, they'll go black eventually, right? So it's just to keep everything clean. So with most, even my running shoes and stuff, like I said, I just spray the bottom because it's just easy to get stuff off and clean it. And I do keep my shoes on a um, bookcase. So I do clean them before I put them on the bookcase only because I just don't like all the, like, dirt from all of the outside or whatever so I'll clean the bottom and like scrub them and then put them on the showcase and then when they're ready to wear it, it goes back and forth or whatever so so yeah that's that's my little haul if you guys have any questions or concerns about Timberlands or like what to do holla at me